Okay, everybody, uh, we're back. We're probably going to be sticking to just TTF and RT today. We'll do a couple of TTFs, give this character a little more XP, a little head start for a future session. Getting closer to that 180, which is kind of huge. Let's bring in a character. And then after, we'll say maybe three or four of them, we'll switch over to RT. So that way I have a nice head start. So I think my goal of hitting 179 by f next Friday, I think will probably happen. Because we won't be streaming Monday or Tuesday PSO, but I think Wednesday and Friday it gives me, I just have to do basically like seven more TTF runs. Maybe six, depending on how many we do. Isn't too bad. second. Do I have S red in my bank? Yeah, an oops all cats party is a little brutal. Oh, you have it? Okay, then that's good. Uh, for my own reference, I just want to know if I have it. I do have it if I really need it. Uh, I'll bring it just because. No way, just in case. So if we get separated and falls, I can still buff myself. Yeah. I'd say it doesn't hurt to bring. Oh, that's right. That's true. Nobody is the Lord. Hmm. I mean, we'll still do it. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's going to be a little rough. I don't have a Zalor gun. Yeah, falls, falls is going to take a little while, chat. <laughs> Just spoilers. Too, technically true. I mean, I guess if you set up your 15 Zalor, maybe it's not too bad. It's not quite like the Zalor 21, but I, it's probably fine. Since everybody's ready, we'll get started. Sino Red's hands were remodeled into a weapon. Attack and defense are increased with its special attack. I think I really care if it's active in forest. We do so much damage, it shouldn't matter. It's more like worm boss when we have downtime. Full up. That'd be really good. Especially if I'm comboing Twin Blaze, if somebody else shifted D-Bands the party, that would be pretty huge, actually. I'm going to confuse them just for free kills. You never know. Photon drop. Hello, multiple photon drops. Welcome. Yeah, and then if needed, we could reapply it on Dragon if we really want to. Which I might as well as, I guess. No invincibility, as usual. Might die here. Yeah, damn. I hate no invincibility.
makes me so sad, Chad. I just want to be invincible. Also, I gotta keep in mind we have no ranger, so the, the, the dragon's more likely to turn into me than not. Something I didn't respect the party comp on that one. That was my bad. <laughs> Normally, bazooka just happens, the dragon falls over instantly, and I'm like, oh wait, it's turning towards me, I think I'm dead. Bonk. Nothing of interest there. Let's do some slime dupes. My only request is don't pull the slime. If you pull the slime, walk as far to the far edge of the room that you can. I can save it. There we go. I was gonna say, the sonic music is going off as we're going in. Should help the team get through that easy. Feel free to stay behind and kill the lilies that spawn there as well. Just for egg chances. That sad moment where I didn't do enough damage to kill. So close. Rip Lilith. So sadly, despite killing 20 slimes at TTF, we have not seen one so far on Red ID. I'm like, I don't want to deal with those enemies. I was taking a little bit. I guess I'll just, I'll just full heal or whatever. I'm not, I'm imagining I'm not going to get away with Dark Blow here. Cleave, am I gonna have to start getting a tracker for how many times I didn't get invincibility? This is ridiculous. This is like honestly incredulous. I've now whipped it on two bosses. It's making me second guess the invincibility of Nidra chat. Like this is so bad. I'm like, this is like the one of the only characters I need it. And I just, I'm just not getting it so consistently. It's unreal. It feels like I have invincibility minus minus. I know. <laughs> like, if you can still never see invincibility, <laughs> your invincibility will never appear. Holy. That is such a bad run. Like, statistically, it's just getting so unlikely for me to get this many runs in a row of no buffs on both bosses. It's like incredible. I'm like two and 10 on some of the bosses for invincibility. It's just, it's like actually ridiculously terrible for an allegedly 85% chance. That is really bad luck. And that's also per boss, so I'm failing two 85% in a row. Just like, come on. Ridiculous. Yeah, like, this character needs it. It's, like, when I don't get it, I go so much slower. Fortunately, I wasn't targeted by the worm that time. It could have been worse. Well, I'm a little slow with the freeze trap there. That might be not good for me. Perfect mayhem! Welcome, Chris Graham. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to wait for the team here. Reminder, we don't need these. Ooh, somebody entered the room before me. Please put a free strap. Okay, good free strap, good free strap. I respect, I respect. Okay, now we panic run. Kill the dub chick. Oh, nobody killed the dub chick. Oh, that is really bad. GG to the team, I think. Right, I'm gonna just try to dodge the missiles. 
Yeah, that was unfortunate. So the trick to make the switch fall is you, if you're a ranger, you should you should be uh, rocketing those. Yeah, I'm going to telepipe through. I, I don't recommend the team try to get through this. You're just not going to survive. So whoever is first and not a ranger has to kill the dub chick. Or the, the other person has to go through there. Make, make sure Synchro's up on the mag. It's probably zero now. Is it dependent on Synchro for the, the chances there? I thought it was just IQ. Maybe I'm misremembering. That would explain some things then. Use Twin Blaze. Uh, where is S Reds? Has been a while since I looked up what those things do. It's not like the game tells you. Okay. Yeah, it's something I always have to recheck. I always forget. I know IQ impacts uh, the shift to D-band level, for example. Yeah, we burst at that, which is good. Oh, don't red sword the... Don't red sword these. No, 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 don't attack that. I'm doing it with a special just for clarity, which does like no damage to them. I'm just trying to stack damage here. Like this game has a weird mechanic. You can only hit it every once in a while. If you look at the head of the monster, you'll see sometimes it takes 300 or so. That's the real damage it's taking. There we go, next phase. Uh, let's gear us a little. Yeah, my bad. That would explain some of it then. Uh, I'm in huge trouble. I gotta heal here, I think. Oh, or it just doesn't target me. Okay. I thought for sure the rock was gonna kill me, for clarity. Speaking of killing players... Rock said no. Heavenly HP, nice. Yeah, let me see. I imagine it feels like I have a 20% rate right now. I'm just curious how accurate that is. Let me look it up real quick. Synchro. Where's the percentage range? Oh, so I'm still 50 50. Right? Because it's base 50. So it's still bad. <laughs> I'm just making sure it wasn't like 50%. It was, I am failing 50 50 repeatedly. It's still terrible. Okay. As, lo as long as we confirm that, that's all I wanted to know for sanity. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure its base rate is 50. So yeah, it's, it's still bad that I'm failing that many 50 50s in a row. What silliness. I'm gonna put a Confuse Trap down here, actually. I want them to fight to the death. Have fun, Arlens. Ooh, it teleported over there. There's no Rangers. Oh, must have been closer, I guess? Weird. Okay, so team went up on the platform. Good, good. Oh, I wish Durandal was any good. It's kind of a shame. For a sort of legend, it was done dirty. Need to grab mage, sure thing. We'll teleport right at the end. A little self buff there to make sure we do more damage. Let's freeze trap here and freeze trap here, maybe. Should be good. Or the other freeze trap will not hit. Cool. Uh, where's my team? <laughs> what? Okay, well, I guess I'm combo killing that. Let's leave. Okay, telepipes are up in case you need items. We're... Well, I guess if we're waiting, we might as well get kills, I guess. It's not like we're doing anything else anyway.
Uh, other person's ready. Let's go. Okay, so we'll do a little S-Red Blade. Then I'm gonna equip your soul. Bring my HP. Leave the rest of the team reaching it. Nice little mag boost there for level 6. Somewhat relevant in our run. So I'd recommend very heavily tutorial for future uh, runs. Mech guns are very risky to use here. I would recommend a pistol. Oh, music pause at the worst time. Like the only one of the only times I definitely cannot just like put it down unless I find a really big gap. Damn, that was unfortunate timing on that music pause. Yeah, pistols very quick. You'll see people use something called Master Raven for the easy triple hits. Okay, I want to be near the top half here. Yeah, the reason being charge Vulcans leave you stationary for a while, like you can use them. It's just you're adding like a, a lot of risk or not a lot of upside. This also is more range, so it's just easier to snipe them. I get one opportunity here to fix the music. Get out of here, Falls. Slap you with Dark Flow. It would be very funny if Toriel got it in one try, though. <laughs> Pretty much. Just, just for CTF, just gets it. Also kind of unfortunate. Speaking of unfortunate, I think I'm dead here. Yep. I knew as soon as I saw the angle, I'm just like, oh, I hate that so much. I'm unfortunately like, I was just barely not able to get it past the point where it double hits. So unfortunate. At least I can S-Red Blade when it's invulnerable, I guess. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely an experience. Just so little damage. Did my best to do buffs. Uh, I'm gonna play the dodging mini game. Ooh, that hit me kind of fast. I guess because it's too high up on the platform. It's kind of fortunate. I'm gonna get double hit then. I swear if that boss hits me. Here we go. Short cycle. Oh boy. Get ready for that 16 minute clear. Double short. That short cycle is painful. Can't even dodge this one, unfortunately. Oh, we didn't put it past the halfway mark. Barely. Nice. It's actually huge for us. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. It might die to Foey if team is Foey. Like, unironically, we'll die to Foey. Close. Four elemental handguns. Gotta, we gotta find those, like, 80-hit fire handguns, right, Hellcleave? <laughs> Go for Be like, elemental weapons are real again. Just pop them out of balls. Just pew, pew, pew. Get your, like, 80-hit LNK miniguns. guns. 
Get rid of these. No red ring. Let's see any items that are fun around here. Hopefully you've been doing well, Chris Groom. We're in a very, very focused boss run. I mean, I guess I'll... S I guess I could moon. The problem is, like, I'm gonna die faster than I can recover the synchro with Hunter. 30, 35, 35, no hit. Oh, I turned those off. I don't even look. Those, those are not deemed worthy to appear on my item reader. It could be like 100 darks that I could be missing. Who knows? If it doesn't have hit, don't care. Like, be gone random items. Oh, I was wondering where my other item was. I was like, I was doing a count where I'm like, I know I put away a material, so why do I not have a free slot? Bell Saber left arm was taking a slot. Because I remember dropping a material because I couldn't pick up the mine material, so I was like, what was in my slot that I couldn't use it? Silly. Put that away. Guess I'll restock. We'll do two more of these, and then uh, we'll switch over to RT, I think. Then I'll bring in my raw cast, because he's got a big bazooka, and that's what you kind of want for RT. Yeah, this character's getting a little bit of love, at least. Principal's never impressed. There we go. Next game is up. Try again. <clears throat> Dango trying to get into the red ring and or uh, parasitic gene flow. 192 is quite a level on a humor. go through the counter when I fall over. See, so yeah, I think we did fine on Worm Boss. I think Dragon Boss was fine. Full Up was okay. Falls was... Hmm. That final phase was... Rough. I was wondering what was happening there. Perfect. I have the right amount of health. Just gotta throw a couple confused traps and leave. Maybe we'll get a nice kill later. Nice. Got a free kill. Thank you, confused traps. I feel like confused traps are also disrespected. They're so good for picking up casual XP. Definitely when playing like early, um, I would say low item runs, Confused Traps end up doing more damage than you do. Is this good, Brave Man? Oh, damn, I just noticed my material. I do want that. There we go, there's the invincibility. We're passing 50-50s finally. Who would have thought, right, I'll leave?
At this rate, I might have to get a Talesius just for the Hunters. Just so when I zero synchro them, they can actually do stuff. Nice mag shifted E band. where I got his now, something like that. Uh-oh. Healing time. And okay, nothing of interest, I'm just gonna leave. Set up for slime duping. Ah, oh, power material. I'm gonna go back for that. There's certain things I can leave behind. I don't think that's one of them. I'm willing to lose like 2,000 Masetta or whatever, but I'm not willing to not take power materials. It's worth a little more than 2,000 Masetta. One, two, three. Come to me, slime. Yes. Be lured to your death in the corner where you belong. By slime. Ooh, defense material. I'll take that. No lilies of interest there, so we'll ignore. Ooh, interesting room. We'll come in and confuse trap them. I think that's the best we could do. And again, it speeds it up a little bit. They're not being comboed. We're team hard focusing the lily. Appreciate it. Put a little confuse trap out there for you. One day, chat. We will see the rare slime. Goodbye. Fourteen HP materials. Jeez. I really need to put them away on another character or something. It's kind of outrageous. We'll tell Pipe for the team. On this S Red Blade, just in case somebody gets it. <laughs> right, Oakley, just. These 50 50s are brutal. It's like Pazuzu all over again. It's so bad. Alright, let's see if I get knocked over. Right, Hulk leave. Just shake your head. Just, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fun. We'll level enough to 1400 world that will stop happening. If I don't feel like I have enough HP by then, I'll buy HP, or I'll use my HP materials, I mean. So sad. Anyway, Confused Trap spawn time. So we'll do one here, we'll do one here. Do exactly where the other person put the confused trap. Do a couple shots just to guarantee we get a couple kills. I gotta wait anyway. I'm not in a rush. Uh, that's probably the maximum time for greed that I can spend here. Could have picked up that teleplay, I guess. Uh, I will take a safety die mate in case I get Baranzed again. Yeah, we usually wait for everybody to line up in that hallway, just because if they get spawned early, it really sucks. I am surprisingly not that far behind the rest of the group here. Huh. I thought that, I thought the group would have been in here by now. Should be a good freeze trap timer. And I'm out of here. Let's get a freeze trap again. Gonna wait. Hmm. I'm gonna try to freeze trap through the. Oh, I can't do that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Do another freeze trap in that tile. Run away, run away, kill the death check. <laughs> panic, panic, panic a kill. <sighs> Stupid last one. Put another freeze trap out to delay them. Alright, I'm out of here. Telepipe down in case somebody needs it. We're not. Hello? They just eat my telepipes? Weird. Anyway, uh. Bu -bu -bu -bu, sorry. Make sure I have this equip and this equip. I think I got too close the first time and then I got confused after that. Because I know if you're too close, the telepipe won't work. But it'll show highlighted because at the time of entering the menu, it was technically valid. a little bit so if i do get struck i should be fine and then i can dark flow afterwards Bit late, but I thought you were gonna do the the stone stomper. Oh well. Yes. Uh, this should be fun. So we'll start the room a little early. A little freeze trap here. Walk in the corner. Be able to combo kill even without Shifta. Yeah, there we go. Tell the Arlens to kill each other. Didn't have the alignment, but I had the freeze trap, so that's fine. Freeze trap bailed me on that one. Goodbye, Arlen. So I'm gonna go to the other side of the room just so people don't ooh, don't line up with me. Oh, that's scary. Where uh, Toriel moved is very scary for me because he's lining up with me with the other enemy. There's a strong chance I could die if that happens. So I have to be very careful and watch the enemy if that happens. You basically just draw a line between an enemy and you, and if you're in a line with with the player, you're probably going to get hit, or one of you will. But fortunately, that didn't happen. Oh, that's not best friend played. Here is still time. I like that I'm close enough to maybe get the shift to D-Ban from the mag, because I gear us all forward. I like that. I think I was doing an okay job at living through the spinners. Like, I I'm definitely feeling more comfortable with it than I was before. Like, this is not something I would have attempted the first time I ever used Dark Flow. Get away from that. I don't care if I have invincibility. Don't want to be there if it wears off. So it's like I'm learning to kind of feel out the gaps. Try to punish the spinners when I can. Yeah, if it ended like right now, this would be so ideal for me because I'm in like almost the right position. Oh, come on, come on. 
Must be off by like one. So hopefully within like a kill here it'll go. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. So I'm in a pretty good position. I just gotta swap into Dark Flow and then big damage will happen. So you can even hit it while approaching. So you can see how much damage the boss is taking. You can see the damage my Dark Flow does. It just cuts this boss down. But fortunately, this is where we get to play the no more buff game. That's where it gets a little slower. Get some damage at least. Oh, that could have been real bad. Everybody kind of grouped around me there. That could have gone much worse. Because that spawns all their spinners next to me, which as you can imagine is not good for the health of the party. I'm going to go over here since somebody's here. I wanted to S Red Blade, but I didn't get a good chance. There we go, now I have it. Almost. Uh, I'm gonna stay near the edge of the arena so I don't get double hit. I think I just gotta recognize that the boss just decides to go full screen on me. There's not much I could do. Am I being targeted? I think I am, yeah. I saw the boss aim at me. It's like, wait a minute, get out of here, Falls. What a silly boss. Uh oh, chat, we're going into the light. <laughs> I might be if I get hit by Falls too often. I actually don't know if Zalor 15 reaches from there. I've never played Humar to know if that reaches. Like, obviously when it's on the edge like this you can, but when it's in the middle... 20 can just barely do it, I think. Ooh, that's not good if we get cycled here. I should have held off on attacking there. That wasn't my bad. Let's clump up near the Humar, because you have healing. Somehow did not die there. Honestly, that impressed me more than any anything else. Goodbye, me. Ooh. Given another chance to kill? That's good. So yeah, I think that overall went a lot better. We had some weird attack phases from, you know, the middle... <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen that before. With Lilith's arm clipped into the, the the character reveal, it was visible before the, the, the thing went away. Oops, they got the Z-axis wrong. Nice level up. I mean, 1440 for no real buffs, I think I will take. Considering we also did uh, Psycho 1 check. Apparently disappearing, like our shift to D band. Rip shift to D band. So we'll save one more and then we'll switch over to RTs for the rest of the night. Remember when Toriel was uh, 89 chat? <laughs> He'd like so long ago. He's growing up fast with those levels. I'm sure it was a struggle to get the 89, especially in Ultimate. Now it's like, yeah, I just get levels like every every like hour or so. It's fine. Totally normal. <laughs> exactly. Buffed up. Okay. One more. And we'll probably find new music. No problem, take some time. I mean, I guess I could technically play Fantasy Star 1 music again. 
I just want a series without, like, super copyrighted music and lyrics. It's okay a little bit, I think they're a bit more lenient with Sonic, to some extent, as long as it's not literally their intro closer songs. But, uh, other ones are like, nope, the whole VOD will get muted. Should be pointless. Close these, don't need this anymore. Thank you, Hokley. See, the problem is, like, I need a list. Let me do Bomberman games. Can I just get, like, a full list? There are so many versions of this. What the heck is this? There's a bomber band that came out in 1983. I don't think I've even. I wasn't even aware this was a thing. I know about the NES one. I don't think. I don't think YouTube knows about that either. I just tried looking it up and it didn't pop up. Yeah, I don't think anybody has the soundtracks. I can find the NES one though. That one's easy to find. So I might have to skip those unless I can find them elsewhere. Yeah, Bomberman NES is easy to find. That soundtrack is, like, mediocre. Then I could do Bomberman 2 as the backup. So I'm just trying to open as many as possible for later. Get rid of these. Don't need these. Then Bomberman 93. Hmm. So at least I have a few prepped, because the NES ones will not be long. I, I, I vaguely recall them. They're like very mediocre soundtracks. They get better as they go forward. At some point, it'll go into like the Super Bomberman, but I don't know where that is in the series. Okay, it's almost ready to go. I got some stuff prepped for later. That should be fine. Did they really only do three damage to me through D-Ban? That is so sad. Like how Grace is so powerful. <laughs> so silly. I was like, wait a minute, that did no damage. So I don't even Oh. I guess I did get hit by a 30, I suppose. Like, geez, that did a lot less than I thought. Poor enemies. If I had Red Ring on, I think I'd just be immune to them. I was gonna say, I thought that only happened when I got closer to like 580-ish defense, but I guess with D-Band 30, it doesn't matter. Uh, sorry about that. Dango bringing in the force. Dango had enough. Bonk died for the sin of the dragon. Okay, there we go. Ooh, almost. That was so close. I did it slightly too late. So close. 
I guess I could say nearest the dragon in case the boxes have something. Jeez, where am I? Real? Oh, I got stuck on a box that didn't spawn. I was wondering why it wasn't on screen. It's like, wait a minute. I got outplayed by the boxes there. They were better than me. Come to me, Polly Slime. Oh, I should teach uh, Toriel to dupe the slimes. Toriel is like a perfect level where your fire traps don't super matter in this run. If you're... It's just so fun to dupe them. We'll make Toriel do the next wave. How's that? Toriel just needs to do three normals in a row and then don't attack until you fire trap again. Was Toriel to spam and kill everything. If you do anything other than a triple attack, just triple attack again to reset it. Well, if Toriel dupes some slimes, because he does less damage with his fire traps, but technically it would be more useful there. Okay, I'm gonna move on. So I'm gonna do. Normal, 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 fire trap spam. Love slime duping. One day on red ID, we will see the red slime and it will pay off. In the meantime, see how many kills we get here. A little bit of money, not bad. It's just my way of adding more XP to the run for people looking to level two, which is nice. And again, it doesn't really slow it down too much. The only time we lose time is if I'm the first one in. And I don't immediately go and deal with uh, the first spawn by walking through the invisible area. But technically other people could do the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. Because most of the time people are just kind of lining up to leave the door anyway. So you might as well just get kills during an event. Just random PD chances, XP. Uh oh, we need a debuff. Ooh, I had to use a Jaya there to save it. That was almost really bad. Rip knows the lore. I'm gonna salute that 60,000 Meseta. They died for the sins. <laughs> They're just so gone. Jeez, rip my money. Late game hunter is so expensive, chat. So sad. Oh, it's a reminder for people that are looking to minip uh, Sinnoh Red. If you continue to walk forward when you see it falling down, it will not leap at you, but then you can run away from it and make it just walk after you instead of leaping. So you could bait him into walking instead of jumping. Sometimes it's useful to do that. I like to do that if I'm like a melee character, for example, because it'll keep the Sinnoh in a straight line for people to fire and people don't have to worry about shots whipping when it leaps. Oh, I'm actually first in here. This is awkward. Um, I guess I'll set up for Red Sinnoh. I think I have to because I'm first in. There we go. Hopefully team's got this. Do a couple shots there. Ooh, Lilith went back. That could be bad for Lilith. I'm gonna kill a Barans and team better keep running. Someone go for the switch. Excellent. Our material. Damn, I gotta take that. There we go. <laughs> uh, I guess if Danko has a really good melee weapon slash fist, this will go fast. We'll find out in a moment. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of twin brands for me.
Damn, he is just straight getting stunlocked. It's actually kind of insane. Am I actually gonna kill it with Gafoe? Holy. Wow, I killed it with Gafoe before it died. It's crazy. I mean, my ATP is pretty high. 2561 is not low. Right. There we go. We got there eventually. The brute force method. Set up for Dark Flow in the next area. That actually saves me some time, potentially. Oh, you should, uh... I would recommend Razond in this room. One Gafoe, when the boss is blowing up into Razond, full clears the room. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's fun. I'll figure this out eventually, I'll be fine. There we go. Why am I at full health? I I don't look at my HP. Someone healed me. I did not heal. That's unfortunate. Rip. I just I must have been tagged as I was leaving or something, I didn't notice. Because I don't look at my health when I'm playing, unless I get hit. And then when Dark Flow didn't come out, I'm like something's wrong. Rip. Unless when I fumbled the trap, I might have... Did I try me? Maybe I did try me myself. I was like trying to not itch something because I felt like an itch near my eye and it caused my thumb to miss slip a little bit. Not bad allergies, Chad. It kind of sucks to take medicine after the stream. Okay. I'm gonna quick gear assault, and we should be good to go. Yeah, I wanna make sure that doesn't wear off while I'm sleeping, because that would be the worst sensation. There we go. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I, I imagine, like, going back to Hellcleave's comment, which I didn't talk about earlier. Uh, yeah, a lot of them are pretty old. Sometimes they're well collected. But it depends on the popularity of the series, honestly. I tried typing in the Japanese title for the old version of Bomberman, and literally, literally nothing came up. It was all, like, Bomberman 64, and I'm like, no... I use the Japanese title. I mean, maybe if I specify which system and also that title, it'll work, but kind of the downside of calling your game Bomberman when there's like bazillions of them. It's kind of like if the first Pokemon was just Pokemon. Finding it now would just be like impossible. <laughs> it's just <laughs> too much of a downside, really. Do some big damage here. Ooh. Look at that burst damage. Mmm. Flap. See, I'm really liking Dark Flow for that phase of falls. I think I'm getting pretty comfortable having just kind of played it for about a week. Because as a reminder chat, I I literally did not use it, like Olga Flow stuff at all until on stream, however many months ago. And even then, it's not like I play Hunter every day. 
I, I didn't believe. I healed myself. I didn't believe. <laughs> So you have to think, I got it the first time last year. Then I basically tucked it away and didn't use it predominantly until February of this year. Like, it hasn't been that long since I actually started putting work into it. Otherwise, like, I brought it out occasionally for Hue New Roll and RT, but, like, almost never for uh, Episode 1. So, like, until I was really dedicated to grinding it out with this character, I don't think I really learned to use it properly. Okay, bosses should be low enough next time it goes up, it dies. Or... If it never goes up again, that's also fine. Nice long cycle from Falls, saving us some time. Yeah, it was a good one cycle. You love to see when Fall sticks around for a while. We don't want to see. The, we do not want to see the short cycle, unless we're like hilariously not close to half its health. Then it's fine. Okay, that's a pretty good short cycle. Thirteen minute clear. I think the team could be happy about that. See, so yeah, the character needs six. TTF runs, it looks like, based off the XP, the level. So I could probably do that between Wednesday and Friday, hit 179. If I play privately at all, that's just gonna go towards the total. We now have uh, Deep Hearts for her, even though it min rolls. Worst thing that happens is I just move it to someone else if I get another one. Since I would like that ATP, I think it does matter, especially with Last Swan. If I can eventually just get more damage per bullet there, or even honestly, like 60% or 40 to 35% more with Dark Flow, would make it more enticing to use. Because for the most part, enemies are within combo kill range, but there are a couple that conditionally need a crit to kill, and this might reduce the need for crits to kill. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to Yellow ID. And that Yellow ID character is going to create a couple RTs. So that'll be the Episode 2 Boss Rush, or the respective Tomorrow. And yeah, I'm going to be bringing the big gun. And that's another character that needs to hit 180. So I think for the most part I've played characters between yesterday and today that want to hit 180, with like very, very few exceptions. I think I'm doing pretty good there. Because bo if both of those characters hit 180, that's a pretty big power spike for both of them. I saw this parts a while back, knowing Hugh Casile didn't need it, and Caper Sir would just be better for the ATP. Yeah, it's like, I could see the urge for it, but now it's like, I have enough weapons that are not geared enough that I do need that accuracy. If I'm playing single player, I'm more tempted to, uh, the Zombie Bracer. In multiplayer, though, I need it for falls. Like, not optional. Like, I'll, I'll give an example when I was S parting a lot. Anguish 3 box runs. <laughs> How much longer am I planning to go, asked Tiggy? Uh, maybe like an hour, hour and a half. One. This character should level tonight, and it'll put him at 177. The big raw cast is here. Did you want to hop in after this one, Tiggy? Oh, no, no, we're going to be playing for a while. At least 12.30. I, I don't have work tomorrow. I have vacation. So I don't... Going late is more just are people there. Oh, Toriel offering to drop. That's very kind of Toriel. Yeah, we can have uh, one more attempt at getting a uh, Parasite's Gene Flow for both Toriel and Dango. 
and potentially also another PSG for Lilith slash. Need to remember player names better. X by who? I'm gonna have so much fun uploading and checking all these names later, chat. I'm gonna give myself a headache. <laughs> I think Monday is gonna be my big catch up day for YouTube. I'm gonna have to edit some trial videos. So I, I don't expect any bonus streams tomorrow. It's my off day for a reason. But maybe Wednesday, there might be more than normal. The reach for the dream. Interesting. Used to be as a lore for Olga, I guess. But big bazooka's coming. Hopefully things have been going well for you, Tiggy. We were talking about you a little bit before. Hopefully the public games are treating you a little better. Hopefully nothing bad, no. I was just saying I felt bad watching some of the runs. Four mans taking like 17 plus minutes. With like actual forces and like otherwise like good party comp. They've been games? Oh no, that's not a good qualifier. Yeah. We had a couple long games, I think, between yesterday and today, but again, that's purely party comp. Like, going in without, like, full buffs and whatever, you can't expect to get, like, the same time as, like, a Q-cast, Raw-cast, Force, Q-cast combo or something. Or honestly, even Raw Marl in place of Force with that much ATP. I think things have been decent for what they were. With these hill delts. Yeah, we were playing a little bit of the RBR earlier. It was, uh... It's okay. I, I could be persuaded to do tower if people needed B502. That quest was fine. It was like... There wasn't like a high number of enemies, which is like both good and bad. So it was like kind of like doable tower. It's been an increase in new players, so that's a good thing, obviously. Mm. Yeah, I think some people are catching videos. I'm not sure what people are looking up specifically when people join. I always ask if new people come in. Or try to ask, anyway, as of this year. So if you did see a YouTube video where you were looking up something, let me know how you ended up on the stream. Yeah, I think a lot of it is just making sure that we try to teach players when we play on stream, so I try to vocalize it. Sometimes I feel tired. I'm a bit more quiet than I should be when describing that stuff, but I feel like overall, at least, you know, giving small directions here and there. Tutorials definitely come a long way, for example. Tutorial was playing mostly privately up until this point. But there's been a lot of players in general that have not really touched PSO to this extent. So we're just doing our best to get people there. Watch a lot of my old bonds when you started. Nice, nice. Haven't played since GameCube. Yeah, I have a feeling there's gonna be a mix of people that are probably looking up stuff. Cause I was just curious what led to the bonds. If people were just like, did you feel nostalgic? Did you did you play like PSO2 and then come back? I was kind of curious. Yeah, Tiki, we covered we covered the quote unquote controversy. Which I haven't decided yet if it'll go on YouTube. I 
I think there's an extent. Like, I, I think, like, when it's a really common quest, it's definitely very easy to get annoyed. Like, when, when it's, like, an RBR quest, I don't expect people to know it yet. Oh, let me dodge that. But if it is, like, TTF, and they've played on stream before, I'll be like, come on. <laughs> you'll learn. <laughs> we'll drill it into you. TTF will be, like, one of the ones you'll do blindfolded. Just like RT is very goofy. Okay, chat. 50-50. Will the boss glitch to the right side of the raft or in front of us? TTF bootcamp. It's not bad. But I feel bad, like, if I make a video that, like, this is how you play TTF, and then, it, like, I'm playing it only, like, semi-optimized, I'll just get, like, a wall of complaint from veteran players. Oh, nice glitch. Nice. Let's me get a couple more bazooka shots. And I could come along here for more bazooka shots. I think that's what I did wrong last time. Should have been targeting over here for more damage. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go wait in my corner. I'll try to shoot them before they spawn, but it could be kind of annoying. Like, I'm learning to time that a little better for the human players there. So there, there's my RT optimization. If I hug the corner, I line up pretty well with shooting that corner. I'll just ignore this wave. I just need to do damage here. It's the other thing I'm nowhere near an endgame level player. Yeah, like, I don't consider myself near endgame still. Because I'm not. If I start using challenge weapons seriously, I think I would. I'm kind of like on the cusp. That's how I kind of view it. Like, I'm definitely experienced, but not in the sense where, like, I'm going to be teaching people how to time attack a stage or, like, I'm not I'm not on the same level as the people that speed run like specific portions of the game. Like I'll do enough. I can I can utilize a lot of end game strategies, but not necessarily all of them. And some of it is like an item limitation still. Okay, chat, time for the lineup Olympics. Okay, let's see if we can nail it. Let's see if we can nail it. Oh, I don't like my angle. I'm gonna retry again. Try again. Got another attempt. The trick is to get your foot a little close to the bolt. Ooh, I might be lined up. I might be actually I'm a little too far over, I think. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. So Lilith is definitely too far to the left, they're out. It's a question of who else has lined up. Your foot has to be touching the bolt that's on the floor. I think my camera angle is wrong. We're frequent tower goers. Yeah, I think my angle is wrong. Damn my angle's wrong. I should I should have tried again. So I'm I'm disqualified. I had to reorient. So the other team wins. You did better, team. But yeah, the little trick there is that if you look at that big line on the raft on the right hand side, there's like a small gap and then another small gap. There's a rivet between those two small gaps of tiles, whatever you want to call them, where if your foot is a little to the left of them or touching it, you can reach this area without redirecting. And it saves you fractions of a second, but you have nothing better to do, so you might as well as do it. And you can just hold forward once you got the angle, and it's all good. I'll let team take care of this. Why is the wolf body blocking me? Get out of there. Help the chat on that one. Yeah, like I like I'm definitely like. Episode 1, fairly experienced. Episode 4, fairly experienced. Episode 2, I'm not going to pretend. I don't play it enough. So I'm like, I'm going to defer to other people when we play it. Like, I'm, I'm going to look to, like, a hoop weed. Maybe to some extent, how Cleave 2 on, on those kinds of things. But it's, like, the people that, like, really heavily grind it out. I'm going to look. Sorry about that. Just one of those things. Thank you, Imperimeter, for the good luck. Hopefully you had a good time watching. Oh, I meant to say, Imperimeter, I watched uh, your other Fire Emblem video the other day. I didn't quite understand the miracle. I was going to make a YouTube comment on it. I'm assuming that's a passive ability on the character.
let's see. Let's go for the frozen shooter here. Throws that one solid. GG to Brands. Yeah, I saw you kept dodging at the 45%. Just over and over and over and over and over again. I was like, hmm. Nice mag buffs. But I promise you I did watch it. <laughs> I was watching their little dance back and forth, and then they hit the wall, and they're like, okay. Oh, I got Mega Invincibility this time. How rare. We'll fix music in a moment. Yeah, what I learned last time is I need to back up a little more when the boss does this. Sadly, we can't debuff this boss, so this is where buff... Not having buffs is kind of painful. Let me back up slightly. There we go. So I guess we'll switch over to Bomberman since we're done with Sonic. And the NES one will be very short, so I'm, I'm already prepping to switch it. Nice. I got excited when I heard the rare drop, and then I saw what it was. Excitement gone. It's like, PD? Is it a PD? It was not a PD. It's funny, I'm not even looking for the rares here. I just, I just want the PDs, actually. <laughs> just like... I'm like, oh, I got the rare. How unfortunate. I don't want that. Beep, boop, boop sounds intensify. Nicely done. Give me some of these guys up. Ooh, without shift, I don't kill them in one combo without charge attack. Good to know. Should probably pay attention to my combo kill damage without buffs. Can't say it's very often I go up as a two buff list. Yeah, that means I have to special. So I get normal heavy special to combo kill. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. The small adjustment just cost me some money. Yeah, there we go. Rip my money. You're dying so I can save time and not need to combo again. So much damage. Disgusting. I'll do the hell cleave check after this. Uh, HP got a little low there. That was a little scary. We got him reduced to 6 in Miracle Approximation for 0 to 10. It's increased chance by 11 times, so we're evading avoid by 50. Interesting. That would explain the basically flawless slicing. Miracle too good. Ooh, missed combo kill by one damage, chat. That is an absolute heartbreaker. Your combo kill whips by one damage. Big oof, chat. <laughs> that was with charge it missed by one, holy. Unlucky. This is why we need more ATP. Got 16 hits here, no chance of hitting. I did get robbed. That was that was painful to witness. I feel like going back and clipping that. That was so sad. 
How often do you miss by literally one damage in a combo? Almost never. Especially since the other- oh. Why'd the other guy reach me? Wait, what? I have never had both of them come in this room before. That's unfortunate. I would appreciate it if you guys were not here. Give me a second. Seriously, you targeted the enemy and not my trap. That gun, please. Uh, no items of interest here, sadly. I'm at 99 meter at least. So at least I know our, our big buff will happen at some point. Mars found Red Ring. Congratulations to them. They were on the stream before. That's big news for them. They just recently got a Heaven Striker, from what I recall. With a decent hit. So yeah, they're definitely rolling pretty well this week. We've been rolling kind of dry on stream. We had a off stream red ring two weeks ago. That's a bit, that's been about the only exciting drop so far. And I guess the charge ray gun. But no other end game rares. I mean, honestly, well, I'm probably the only one with charge. Never mind. I'm not gonna ask the team has it. Ranger cheats. He always gets it early. Uh, this should be good. Or let's keep going to random non-use items. Yeah, pretty much. There we go. Galatine go. So I would like that to happen at some point. I'm assuming I'm just going to get tornado repeatedly. Actually, I didn't get targeted there. Feel kind of good about that. I mean, we are playing yellow ID, so... In theory. Yes, I'm tagging the boss as much as I can. See, I almost half health the boss. So if there were, like, two really dedicated rangers, I think the boss would have died already. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy when you think about it, because we've barely been fighting the boss. So busted. Yeah, that would have done exactly half as it landed. Bazooka doesn't care about ATP. Get out of here. Forgot to grab your cannon. No worries. Cannon is so good. Got some money. Bazooka doesn't care about your... It doesn't. It's like, oh, do you... Oh, do you not have Shifta? Well, too bad. You're still at over 2,000 ATP anyway. <laughs> Bazooka doesn't care. Damn, 40 hit charge arm. That's unfortunate. Uh, I didn't even have, like, disappointing rares. We saw we saw some pretty heartbreaker rare or commons, I mean. They would have made Tiki sad. Took a screenshot of that uh, Silent Claw with 55 hit. That was so sad. Like, why? Why does it have so much hit? It doesn't need it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm getting injured a lot more, I've noticed. I think that's just kind of the downside of the run. What was on from 55 hit claw? Yeah, it, it didn't even get picked up. I just, like, it left it on the floor, it got banished. Press gun's okay. There's at least, like, maybe a theoretical use for that. For, like, early characters. Also, I'm out of freeze traps, which really sucks. Uh... There. I used a lot more in that other room, since I'm not used to them being both in the same room. Hmm. I might actually run out of healing before I get to this boss. A bit unfortunate. Those other Sinnohs really up on me. I guess I'll just switch the frozen shooter for safety. Okay, so we're gonna turn here. Sure thing, Tiki. You have next run for sure. 
Yeah, we need Zalore really badly. If nobody is Hell, we need Zalore really badly. It seems like the team did not bring Hell. Can someone Zalore, please? Thank you. Now we should be able to do some damage. There we go. If at least with Zalore, we could get through its defense. There we go. But without it, it's a little rough. Alright, let's see if there's any interesting rares up here. Nope. No rares, no good commons. Rip. Nope, no photon drops. So we're already on the bonus stage. The rest are just sound effects, right? Oh, there's one more theme. <laughs> Game over feels appropriate. Ooh, try made I need that, actually. I don't know if I've ever beaten Bomberman on the NES. Now that I think about it. I guess it just haven't ended at some point. I think I'm freezing the Sinnoh in the air. Take that Sinnoh. Checkmate. I'm going to do RT, I could bring my rocket seal. Hmm. Up to you. I mean, we're definitely doing RT if that's what the question is in general. This is going to be very interesting. Maybe with a Gafoe and a Freeze Trap. Oh, I don't have Freeze Traps. Damn. But I got the Rose to Shooter. I guess that works. Yeah, there we go. I'm really liking that. See, there we go. We we figured it out on RT where to stand so the Del Peter doesn't combo us. So even the lower rank of OE was uh, actually quite perfect for that. Uh, we don't have anybody that has buffs, so that that's up to you, Tiggy. It might help. We're actually clearing clearing fairly decently, but I think it's just because uh we do have a little bit of Zalore at least. If we didn't have Zalore, I think our lives would be miserable. Because I know we at least don't need ball, uh, buffs potentially on, uh, what's it called? Oga Flow. It's more making sure we get through Worm Boss. Maybe a little bit of this area with buffs. But fortunately, since our team is going to be doing the combined uh, Milo Yula ing, as long as everybody does it properly, we should be fine. If we do this and we only have like a level 40 buff, that could be really bad. Probably should have switched to Vulcan. Oh well. All up to you, Tiggy. Whatever, whatever you enjoy more. Yeah, hopefully I don't get ambushed in the room by both robots. I've never seen that happen before. Normally the other one gets stuck, and I kind of deal with him on the way back. That caused me to use up like three, no, like four freeze traps more than I'm used to. Enjoy comfy clears. Well, Tiggy, we're going to be doing a pure Humar run through TTF. <laughs> should, should be fine. Be lots, lots of fun. Get rid of Morphos there. There we go. And that was Bomberman on the NES. Let's see what Bomberman 2 is all about. Have <laughs> fun with that? Yeah, pretty much. That's a good response. Okay, I'll do the box clear. Doesn't really matter if we hit the lasers. We're at the end. So I'm going to go through this 
Uh, to be fair, this one does at least look like a fake path. What? Uh, game, please. So at least I could maybe reason there's something here. But yeah, we are not doing tower. We <laughs> I, I don't want to do tower after this quest. I'm sorry. Remember for the longest time, I couldn't remember what quest was toggleable if you do tower. I'm like, oh yeah, it's really deep in there. I don't think I want to do that after RT or even before RT. Like, nah, that's fine. How many trimates do I have left? Six? Oh, I have 10 stars. We're good. Never mind. Never mind. We're totally good. I was thinking I had six healing for uh, potentially the laser nonsense coming up. Could have been bad because I might have to double heal on those. Vibes. Why is this music so quiet compared to the other music? Anyway, so. Hopefully everybody is mag blast. I'm gonna be doing twins. Which one are you doing, Toriel? If you have snake, dolphin, one of those is probably fine. Just don't do twins. Uh oh, let us tutorial. Oh, you got snake? Nice. Okay. So I'm going to time it. I'm just going to say using twins. Perfect. Snake is pretty safe. Not everybody is snake. If you're doing a lot of metamags, they generally won't have it. But sometimes for just chaining, it's useful. This is gonna be a big power jump. <laughs> I got frozen by frozen shooter during the gutsy. I got wrecked chat. I got baited. <laughs> frozen shooter said no. Alright, so as long as we get the Zalore. So, even level 15 should reach this while it's off screen. Just spam it and then we should be good. There's no timing involved. I think just mashing is fine. It'll hit eventually. Because I know level 20 can hit it off screen. I'm assuming 15 can as well. If the worst thing that happens is you cast it twice and the boss dies. Oh, can he not fit? Oh, maybe he can't physically reach. Oh, 15 can't reach that at all? Today I learned. So 20 can reach, 30 can reach. Umar can't reach with that. I did not know that. Oh, that's sad. It's the boss is fit. <laughs> is the boss really trolling Humar? Does Humar need a nerf? Yeah, that's a big wow. Literally everything else can hit that. Ramar 100% hits that. And they hit it well off screen. That feels, that feels very spiteful, I'm not gonna lie. And another reason not to use Humar? I mean, that's kind of true. I I thought for sure they could reach that. And even when it was stationary, it was just horizontally too far. Wow, I, I did not know that. Today I learned. That was actual spiteful gameplay design. Okay, so that boss got deleted. See, this is where we don't need buffs. <laughs> When you got that 81 shift to deep the boss is gonna die. Actual hate crime towards you, Mars. Yep, yeah, that is. That is very spiteful. Is that one of the only bosses where you just can't do anything? Because I think even Gal Griffin, you can debuff at least when it goes by. It's a little tighter, but at least I think you could debuff that. I'm saluting Toriel. Toriel's too cool to look at the parasitic gene flow that has dropped. <laughs> Let's see, anybody gonna get a last second parasitic gene flow? I got a nothing. Oh, die mate. I guess that's okay. Rip. So Tiki will be coming in. Yeah, that's why he won't give me a gene flow. <laughs> you are prejudiced. That's true.
There we go. But congratulations on hitting 124, Toriel. All that wall ATP going towards your character. I was gonna say, after you got all those items, did you play a little bit of forest, see how much easier it feels? I'm sure you're like combo killing a few of them already. Or just in your three hits, it's, they're done. Yep. <laughs> uh oh. Lilith offering to take the spot. So you're welcome to say Toriel, it sounds. Do these, put this away. He's away. Oh, Toriel's taking out, taking off anyway. So we, we're getting our grinders back a little bit. I got them down to like 10, so that's a little better. Sadly, we're capping on materials again. I really gotta figure out what to do with these. We are 100% purchasing trimates and stuff right now. 45 hit heat laser. I mean, in theory, if it was 50 hit, I could buy it for uh, falls. <laughs> Rip that 40 club I'm not picking up. I yeah, used 24,000 Masetta. Lost 4,000 Masetta. Could be worse. So let's go ahead and make another game. So thank you again, Toriel, for joining us. We had a good time. You dodged the tower. The important thing, Toriel, is you did not have to go through that tower. I had your best interest at heart, trust me. <laughs> it's like, that tower quest was, mmm. That would have been something for underlevel players. Ooh, 197 Hunu roll. Serious business. So yeah, we'll go for at least, I'm going to say two RTs, and then we'll probably call it there. Mostly because I'm tired more than uh, it being late night, specifically. Yeah, it has been a pretty fun session so far. Thank you, Toriel, again for joining us. Oh, I landed the paralysis. Ooh, look at me landing that. Feel a little special using it. Oh, nobody got the rappies in the other room. This is probably my least favorite room in the quest. I hate the camera angle. I hate the walls. Then there's a turret there just to annoy players. What a dumb room. I hate that room. It's almost as bad as the beach room, honestly. I don't know why they made it like that. Beach room, I think it's more... If, if they had sped up the spawn timers and things like just gradually came in rather than making us wait and run around a bit more, I think it probably would have been okay without changing the number in the room. If they just let them gradually trickle in regardless of kill. Ultra dead, GG. Evade material? Mm. I'm not going back for that. Sorry, Rappy, not this time. Okay, let me put a single freeze trap here. and crispy. Ooh, the Varan's launcher is being pulled out. 
That's nice. This one is 25% machine, so not useful in the clear here. Mostly meant for when I do yellow ID Sinnoh kills. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't turn there. I mean, it will kill both there. Okay, 50-50. Will the boss glitch out and be on the right or go above us? After the two runs are done, trade me since mags are done. How much do I owe you in PDs, Hulkley? Aw, oh, normal Barbara Ray. Boo. Zukatan. Okay, I'm gonna go retreat to my little hidey corner. If I go from here, I just feel like it's so easy for me to hit the center paralysis one. So I could try to kill them as they spawn like that. Help the team out a little more. Because that's the one that can really mess up the team. Then I get one chance after the poison things are here. Maybe hit the center one like that. I get like one chance there. It's kind of hard. Honestly, I'm not in a good position for it. I can at least kill the other one. 30 in some form. Oh, well, this boss is so done. You're not getting back on this raft. Okay. I was gonna say, please take my 99 HP materials, I believe. I don't think I'm ever going to use them. And even if I do want to use them, it's not like I don't already have like 400 something. So I'll give you some of those, the rest will be PDs. Okay, line up Olympics. Can we get it? Ooh, I don't think I got a good angle. Let's try again. Like slightly turning the camera. There we go. I think I might win this lineup Olympics. Looks like team's in a good position. It's all down to the camera angle. I think he's a little too far over, so I think Tiggy's out. Gonna hold forward. Let's see, did I line it up correctly? Ooh, I'm a little misaligned, but will I still reach it? Yeah, still reached it. That counts. Need luck materials more though. Oh no, how many luck materials do you need, Hulk Leave? You can take my 99 because, as I said before, I think three or four characters are at 99 already. So if I really want it, I could max like three characters instantly. But I'm not at the point where I'm interested in that. To the point where I don't think I'll ever touch it. I could in theory give it to raw casts, I guess, if they're already overcapped. There's no downside. It gives me a little more leniency with Dark Flow with you casts, maybe? Ooh, we need 124 luck. How much is a stack of 99 luck materials, help please?
That felt personal when I shot that dump switch. Poor dump switch. <laughs> like, we were already done with the room. I went, no. Turn left, shot it. Goodbye. I always forget about this switch. I don't know. I'm so bad at this room. I don't understand why. And, like, I should kill them, because it'll potentially give us PDs and event eggs. So it's like, me skipping it is bad. <laughs> I'll cleave. I failed the 50-50 again. Wait, isn't this guy's synchro actually good? 24 to 25? Wow. Uh, you know what? Oh, no, no, it's bad. Okay. I must have died to Baran's more and not bothered. I should probably fix this synchro. He very rarely dies. Maybe I can feed it the star atomizers that I have. That was a lot of damage, GG. Let's feed it some stars. Because I think it going beyond 20 is one of the thresholds. And again, he very rarely dies at this point, so I might as well fix this synchro. I like I didn't wait for the animation, I just closed it. Curiosity, how much is left in this soundtrack? Not too much. Okay, we got a spare soundtrack just in case. Again, a lot of the older games, I don't expect them to have very long soundtracks, if at any. If any at all, excuse me. I can finally combo kill again. This is fun. No Masetta needed now. Just taking advantage of the pure 50 hit. That's it. I guess when your ATP is above 1300, all you need is accuracy. Rip all these enemies, though. Off to see. I don't recall how many luck material I have. I might have 99. There's a, The first character was likely to have it. I did use up some on another character, though, so I'm trying to think if it would be 99 still or not. Because those do come very rarely, sadly. But anyway, we'll figure something out. If nothing else, I'll go help leave the 99 HP. And maybe 23 PDs or whatever. I think I only realistically need to hold on to... 20... 25 luck material or whatever to reset the Huka seal. I think every other character doesn't need it or I don't care. If I really need luck material later, I could just use badges for them. So I still have many, many, many badges. I was gonna say, oh, <laughs> for just one luck material a day, you could feed a starving Hellcleave. <laughs> Let his Hugh cast army rock. Oh, the hell has been broken out. In the arms of a Hugh cast, exactly. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I get trolled this time. Could this enemy not follow me down this path? As I said before, I didn't even realize they could do that. Normally they just get stuck on the walls. Speaking of stuck, in please. There we go. Let's see if I get trolled here. Yeah, see, it didn't come in the room this time. Whatever. Wait, chat, why did that happen last time? That is kind of unlucky. There must have been like a perfect angle that I moved that he got around that corner. So unfortunate. So anyway, I'd like you to perish. 
So if chat sees items that they don't understand where they are, just remember, I'm in the hidden area. I might as well check it for weapons, because there's a small chance it could be useful. Welcome, Edward Enigma. Hope you're doing well. 35 hit Mahu, come on. Game's tripping again, chat. <laughs> don't, get, don't give me Mahu with hit. Like, get out of here. Shake him ahead. Where's that for the Galatine? <laughs> where's the th where's the 35 hit Galatine with native? <laughs> so sad. Hopefully you're doing well, Edward Enigma. No, but if you saw earlier, Hellcleave, they they followed me into the other room. It made me so sad, like where the boxes were. They went from that windy hallway to the room with the treasure. I was like, I've never had that happen before. It was so sad. <laughs> it's like I needed so many more traps because I had no buffs to kill them. I was like, man, I wish they stayed in that hallway. That would make my life easy. Oh, I can't. Oh, I died. Oh, I didn't die. Thanks, Mag Invincibility. You finally triggered! Yay! I can't see the boss, though. You up here? There we go. Goodbye, boss. Well, anyway, I need your save me there. Thanks, 50%. Now I have a 50% chance not to die from full health versus tornado. What a mechanic! Okay, nothing of interest in any of these boxes, but I'll take the money. Elkley says I've seen it once, I'm like, it literally happened a couple minutes ago. It was so sad. Or last run, I mean. It wasn't even that long ago. I got trolled super hard. I was I was pretty deep in the room too, Hellcleave, when it hit me. Like I I had I was in range of touching the box and I got hit from behind by them and I was like, excuse me? It's kind of rude. Oh, I keep thinking I'm one hallway ahead. It's like hallway. I must have like in placing the freeze trap done like the perfect manipulation to get him through that hallway unintentionally. I didn't think I was lined up with the door either. That's what made me laugh. So there's a lot of panic freeze traps as I had no idea how to hit him. Is a zero buff, no debuff person was fighting Sidozoa times two. I was like, oh, this is really awkward. Speaking of awkward. They spawned before I was ready. There we go. Okay, I want to make sure... Okay, we got those. Moon Atomizer, I guess I'll go collect it. Yeah, like something weird. I I'm assuming I did something to make him get through there. Because I didn't go back in the hallway. I was fighting the other one at the time. It's definitely a sad moment for sure. Let's see him take that one. I like that my visual cue is basically just kind of fire between the two points. Like, I'm freezing him right now, which I find hilarious. So I guess as long as I always line up with the Rico bot, I can always snipe that Sinnoh red from the sky if I want to. It's kind of amusing. I don't know how helpful that is to know that you could do that, but you could do it. The sad part is, Hellcleave, even if you take my 99 HP materials, I could probably restock it to like 50 as soon as we're done. <laughs> I have so many on the other characters I can't do anything with. Nice, got him with the freeze trap. Hermes has found red ring, nice, nice.
Oh, I just wear heavenly HP. That's my solution. I get to adjust my health total as a force with heavenly HP. I'll take that over 30 MST. Most of the time it doesn't matter. It makes a little more sense for like some rangers, depending on what you're doing. It's, it's, it's nice to be able to just wear accuracy units instead of heavenlies. But I also don't usually go anywhere where I need the heavenlies to with rangers. Oh, is that the soundtrack? Oh. Okay, well I got one more and then I gotta look up another one. that. I don't remember what yellow ID Morphos is offhand. I just decided it should die. <laughs> that was my prerogative. Anyway, back into this hallway. I've been at 100 for a while, because Ranger cheats with Bazooka. Oh, Photon Drop somewhere. It's fun. I'll pick that up eventually. I might as well kill the Rico bots in case they have Photon Drops. Oh, is it a box rare photon drop? That's funny. So finally, these boxes paid off. Single photon drop. <laughs> We're living large now, chat. Yas 7k, ooh. Never mind, skippable. <laughs> Unless I just want eggs. Oh, the other boxes are still alive. Okay, that charge Vulcan was probably not necessary, but it felt personal. Oh my gosh, I didn't get hit by that? That was a miracle. Did he delay his jump? That was weird. I guess because I walked out, he delayed? Because I went in range to trigger him, but then I guess I left it and he started walking or something? Normally he just leaps immediately when he's visible. Whatever. I'm not going to think about it. What I am going to think about is how fast this boss is about to die. We got Dolphin, I got Twins, we got Pila, 83 donate, sure thing. Biggest thing in Seabed is Stink Frame or Zomba pretty much, at least on Yellow, makes sense. We have actually been seeing Zombos drop every now and then, so we know it's kind of working. He's about to debuff the Olga flow out of existence. Poor Humar, though. I did not know Humar cannot reach that. That is so sad. Are there any debuff extenders for Humar specifically? Things I never think about on a daily basis. Because I wouldn't have in, in like a million years thought he could not debuff a boss without having tried it. And he could use Cleo? I thought that was female only. And then they added it to the Hue New World. Yeah, I mean, I would have to add. 
I'm very curious, because again, like, it wouldn't even have crossed my mind you couldn't reach with it in any situation versus any boss. Like, maybe, like, I think even episode 4 boss you can reach them. Wow, that is such a fast depletion of health, GG. Let's see, what is the minimum MST to use, Cleo? Let's learn today, chat. Yeah, Hunural, Ramarl, Fomar. Yeah. Umar can't use it. All the forces can use it though, funny enough, so the Fomar can wear use Cleo. Requirement is 900 MST. I will take my Missetta. As we look up another Bomberman soundtrack after this one. I-10 Bomberman. I'm learning about all these Japanese-only Bomberman games I've never seen before. I can't get the soundtrack for it, though. That's a downside if you go... into the more obscure ones. You just you just literally can't find it. I, f I see gameplay of it, but that's not this what I'm looking for. Okay, I got the next one loaded up. We're good. So we'll probably need one more to get through an RT. This character will hit 177. I'm going to have a character that'll be roughly 177 and a half, I think, by end of the week. Hopefully another character really close to 180. There'll be two red rings out of the way. So after this, I'll do a trade, I'm guessing, with Hellcleave. Let me put this away. Unless you want to do it now. Spoilers, I have a bazillion things to trade with you in here. It's not going to be that hard. I just don't know how many luck material I have. I guess I can see what it was a week ago. One second. Luck material. I have 114-ish as of a week ago. I have one stack of 74, a 36, and something else. A couple twos and ones on a couple characters. I had a feeling I had a big stack, because I did use, as I said before, on a new character semi-recently, and then I used 10 luck material on the new faux Newman that I wasn't planning to do. But I think since then I've gone up a couple, but not many. I think eventually I would need 100, but like I think anything over 100 is not needed. Just because like I'll probably make in slot 7 either Q casts or raw casts. So that would be however many luck material needed. And that would be across another year or two. I wouldn't plan on doing it at least this year. RT is up. Then maybe I'll do... Maybe a TTF after the trade? And that'll be the end of the stream. I'm not feeling as tired as I thought I would be, but I probably do want to wrap up soonish. Today's been a mostly stream-filled day, which is a good thing little shy of the six hour mark since we came back and we did two hours in the morning. Uh oh, we left everybody behind. Rip the team. I mean, I guess I could restock while I'm waiting. I mean, now, now I'm gonna look up what can even be used the debuff. Can he use like any of the bag items? 
Those are the items I don't usually bother checking to see who can use them. Yeah, you can't use Marina's bag. No, 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 no. Hopefully he wasn't running. Uh, let's see. It's a lore. And he can't use... Yeah, so he's got no lore buffs. That sucks. Rip. Okay, so we're just waiting on the fourth person. Unless I miss something that they're not returning. So we'll give another minute, otherwise I'll open up the slot, because I don't see any response in the chat. Some people are just swapping items, I just need to know if that's happening, because some people do just draw. Like power outages and stuff. That's happened a couple times on stream. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I sold that, that would make me very sad. Any 50 hits? Nope. Okay, team, so I don't see any responses. I feel like I gave a decent amount of time. So if there's somebody that wants to take the fourth slot, uh, I guess you're in. Like, I wasn't sure if Edward Nigma, for example, earlier wanted to come in or Video Horse. Leave is also welcome to join. I can do a little pretty twirls. I like that I still hear the original NES theme across many different games so far in Bomberman. No problem, Senko. back uh x -Fi ho i mean if you're good to go you can rejoin we we're just asking to see if anybody was going to fill the fourth slot i had a feeling power jumped it happens otherwise i think hulk leaf can come in Do the tumble animation for a little bit. Okay. Well, let's do one more with X by Who then, and then I think uh, we'll trade with Hellcleave afterwards, and then we'll finish with the TTF. So we'll put this character at 177. What is a raw cast max ATP? Let's relearn again, because I forget every time. I don't think I've hit it yet. 1350. Welcome back, Dango. So I have 11 more ATP until I cap. It's pretty realistic to occur by 180. says, well, I guess since we put all the nails in the Hemar coffin, I have to make you Hugh cast. Hugh cast is very strong, Dango. I think you would have fun with them. 
You trade a little bit of accuracy for freeze traps and a bazillion ATP. Everything dies. Boom, boom, boom. We'll circle all around Dango. So we'll give Xpaihu another minute or so. And then I would like to get started. Anything else you want to put away here? Loading in, no problem. Do I need to swap my cannon rouge? Oh, cannon rouge is 15 dark, that won't help me. Mm hmm. My add-ups are still on other characters, so I gotta be careful about that. I'll have to fix that off-stream, hopefully. Got four heavenly HPs in here, which is pretty good. Okay, let's get started. Then I'll make a game to trade with Hellclee. Oh, no worries. I need you to get three D-parts, it's true. D parts for every single cast you want to make, potentially. And go suiting them up. <laughs> Raw cast, you cast, both are pretty good. Solid characters, for sure. by Lily. <laughs> Is Tiki attacking with Cleo there? That's rude. I mean, Cleo's got a good ATP, but it's very disrespectful. They offended Tiki, apparently. Oh, foot on drop. Sure. Okay, none of those needed. So dead. Oh, I almost killed it with one charge attack combo. That's kind of sick. So yeah, this character level, I'll get a little more of a head start on the red ID character. Beautiful progress. Despite not getting any items, beautiful progress. Lots of PDs though, which go towards trades. the far right, I don't trigger them. That's all I remember, chat. <laughs> That's my only RT optimization, just I don't have to worry about traps if I just run against the right wall.
an ultra dead crimson assassin. Kind of like shooting from the corner there. It lets me get uh, the big bads in one angle. Technically, you could also freeze trap from there. Okay, moment of truth. Glitch, normal. Glitch, normal. Hmm. I'm feeling normal. Damn. Lose the 50 50 guesses too. One day, chat. This is a lot of extra damage on this boss. Ooh, took some big damage there. That's unfortunate. So anyway, we're gonna use this corner to line up and help the team out with some of the other shots. That way they don't have to worry about that necessarily. Ooh, the other one blocked it. Dead angle. So I guess I could try to go to the other side briefly to help the team. There we go. After that, the chat's on their own. <laughs> so I get two attempts. I have a good lineup. It's more just timing based. Wow, and if you're in the corner, you also dodge the laser there. That's convenient. Goodbye, boss. Let's see, I get two solid attempts to clear it, I guess. Not too bad. It's on level 30, congratulations to them. Okay, let's see if we can win the lineup Olympics. Uh, I'm not looking my angle, no trust. Ooh, don't like that angle. Damn, lineup Olympics is harder than it should be. Damn you, camera, why do you fight me? Still too far to the right. Oh well. I'm gonna fail this line of Olympics. The camera is not fighting, not cooperating with me. I got disqualified. I had to reorient. So sad. you more stars as we walk. Now that chat hit them, we're guaranteed to get items. Oh, maybe the heavy techs are pushing the wolf back. That's probably what that is. I guess I could go right to avoid that from happening. Rip that power material. I'm not going back for it. So by Griffin boss, clear. I'll have leveled again. So I guess I could just abuse freeze traps if I want to. Who cares? <laughs> just willy-nilly put them wherever I want at that point. I'm gonna hit a couple of them and then I'm gonna shoot it. There we go. Should be GG. Nice freeze. To get drained on all that HP. Quick star atomizer ticky.
I just, I just see Tiggy has disconnected. <laughs> I got invincibility this time, so I get to actually attack the boss reasonably. Full power attacks here and there, better than nothing. That double hit is so dumb. Oh, dragon. This will be a significant amount of XP. Nice. was used there. That was a bit too sudden for normal. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, sadly we didn't end up with any V502 units, despite doing a few tower runs. Across a few streams. A bit unfortunate. Would have been a nice pickup for alt characters. Because I know I want those on basically my raw cast and raw seal. After that, I don't care as much. B5 is probably fine. In theory, could also go in the Hugh New roll. I do box runs with her. Rid of these. there. I'm gonna go in the middle, because I vaguely recall that there should be a wave here. Good enough. Goodbye, Marillas. I've hit Gladius, so sad. So sad, Chan. It's not worth it. Okay, let's do the Hell Cleave check. Oh, did the music stop? That's got a little more. Okay, got a little more. Okay, let's see if that happens again. We did not get trolled by the other Sinnoh Barrel. That's a good sign. Where even is it? Oh, it got really stuck. Wow, I didn't even make it past the first corner. Frozen Shooter, please. Ow. Do you count as a separate hallway? Why wasn't that hitting? Him, please. <laughs> My gun was completely past the uh, wall. It still hit the wall. Holy... I chat deal with that as we fix the music, rip the music. Yeah, that's kind of the downside of some of these soundtracks. They are just so short. You know, you can have like five prepped and they're gone instantly. That was all the 93, so we'll do 94. Okay. Let's see if we can aim our bazooka to hit Galgriff in here. Oh, 
almost ominous music as Gal Griffin comes in. <laughs> what a music cut. Okay, got a solid hit. Two shots to so some of that's on me, but it's still mostly dead. Ooh, almost killed it on the drive by. That was so close. I think I could kill it as it lands. Goodbye. Now I just played the dodging minigame. GG. level up. Ooh, four attack. Nice. That means if I got two plus threes in a row, I'll still hit it. Before 180. It's exciting to finally get more ATP. As we saw, I missed my Vulcan kill by one damage before. So if I somehow get min rolled all the way through variable damage, it should be gone now, hopefully. A little extra defense doesn't hurt, of course. So much damage. It deleted. again while I'm walking in the room, which is awkward. Ooh, the defense down led to insta-death. Goodbye. Let's try to do charge arm here to hit the boxes. Pull a couple of the flyers. Pop all the boxes. No weapons of interest, sadly. Nice of an egg. Zola. Okay, this time I will not freeze the thing in midair. Try to wait a little bit for it to land first, so that way team can hit it. I mean, it is amusing that it lines up that way. If I just line up for that, it'll hit the other target. I'm gonna kill these for, uh, chances. Need to be careful here, team got kinda ahead of me. I think I'm gonna wait. Nice stop. Don't mind me, just moved out the charge Vulcan to deal with the problem. Kill a couple of these, maybe I'll get an item out of them. Nope. Oh, I did get a grinder, I guess. It's kind of worth it. I need those. Lots of guilty lights. I still feel bad those items aren't slightly better. Like, they don't even need much to change, just, oh, they just had slightly more ATP per level. I'm, I'm okay with Guilty Light being a little weaker than, like, Red Scorpio, but Phonon Mazer has no excuse for being that weak. It's like, I'm only 20 ATP higher than the other thing, and I'm like, then why are you even here? Where, where's, like, the 150 attack upgrade? That would have been kind of interesting to be able to test it. 
And even then, I still think a red Scorpio should have been like a clear, at least 50 ATP more than the other one. Or at least allow you to grind it higher. Thank you, Video Horse, for uh, the good luck. Will you get some rest? It's funny, I can spawn those in before the door opens. Okay, so we'll do the box check. And then I only need 3 meter, which is just like one chainsaw, if I really need it. But I'll probably get it on the way out, regardless. Amplifier of yellow, ew. Ew, that's the box rare here? That's disappointing. <laughs> I mean, I am yellow ID. I, I wish it amplified. Could you imagine if that applied to like section ID? It's like, oh, if you have amplifier of red and your red ID, all your stats are 10% higher. <laughs> Can you imagine if that's how that worked? Yeah, I just need. Wait, how did that not hit me? <laughs> there we go. Squeezed out that last percentage. Not bad. Okay. So I'll say using twins. Started auto playing, had to turn it off. Hopefully, that's correct. I don't know what Panic Bomber Man is. I'll have to see what that is. Maybe that's the English version of the other one. Be worth listening to. GG. Oh, there's a 1994 spinoff. Oh. Uh, well, I'll save that for later. So that is one I want to listen to at some point, just not right now. I want to listen to them in order. And we'll do the spinoff separately. Is the music okay? It's okay now. It started playing two songs at once because I was looking up something. Very ominous at the moment. GG to the RT run, I guess. Yeah, these other ones... I think the Japanese only ones I just can't find. Did sound a little drunk. We got a little bit of another song in it. He was having hiccups. Masetta. One day Dango will get it on stream. One day. 
Uh, please don't have the whole soundtrack loot for an hour. That would be horrendous. Unless it's like the best song in the world. I think that would drive me crazy. So let's do some trades with Hellclean. Then we'll uh, do one last TTF to wrap things up. So yeah, got, uh, got this character leveled up yet again. So he's going to be an even harder carry when we do Endless. So he's already up approximately 12 ATP since we last did it, and more defense, which matters for not taking damage in the damage list sections. Welcome, Sir Magic Penguin. Hope you're doing well. How am I doing? I'm okay. We're having some late night PSO. Hopefully you've been well. Today has been a lot of streams. That HP material. We'll be rid of you soon. You're good, honestly? That's good to hear. Glad you got over the illness. Thought a little bit of what you were playing earlier. I think it was Fallout. Hopefully that's been going well. Peter Mag one more time to fix Synchro. Let's go make a game for Hulk Lead real quick. Let's go acquire 93 HP material. You can finally restock this again. That drives me wild that I can't put stuff away in here. And then... I forget what, how much help we've said. Was it 30? He said 7 for the other one. It would be 23 of these. I think that is accurate. There you go. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll help you with some purchases, help leave. I want to buy on this character? Not really. Okay. That is the final transfer. Enjoy the PDs, Hellcleave. Switch back to my C Bank 1 character, and we'll be good to go. So, getting yet another Red ID TTF before we end the stream. Thank when we listened to so many Sonic soundtracks, we finally ran out of them. We're now in the realm of Bomberman currently. Did you know there? it feels like there's infinity Sonic Olympic games? I don't know why there's so many of them. Some years there's two. There's Sonic at the Olympics, then Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. There's so many. Actual madness. But anyway, final run of the night. be a nice and quick run. I'm not expecting any drops, but hey, look at that, chat. I only need six more to hit level 179. This will be one less, so it'll be down to five after this. So that's looking like a really good goal of finally getting this character to 180. So close. Soundtrack number 12, Area 4, Kranken Castle. That is a name. further down. I was going to say, who else is joining for the last CTF of the stream? We have Tiki currently. Atomic Bomberman. I don't think I've heard that one before. Remember this? I remember the Saturn Bomberman. Ooh, look at that. Oh no, not one hour loop versions, game please. God dango. So we'll give one final call for anybody looking in for one last TTF. And we're moving on.
Oh, there we go. Hulk Leave is like, I had enough. <laughs> I'm getting my red ring. I was gonna say, Diz came in for the one off TTF, and he got it. <laughs> so, like, fun crazier things have happened. Just like, oh, you know, I see people are doing it. Let me do one run. Boom. Red ring. So, let's bring in a nice little vice, drain our own HP. I'm sure that's completely the way the game is intended to be played. Just be at no health all the time. For it. Whenever we can. Oh, I'm still too healthy. I need to get injured more. There we go. Hit me a little more. Ah, oh, that's good enough. I don't think that'll work. That's fine. Plenty of the Bartles die. Oh, they're like one attack shy. Oh, that would have been free XP. I left that free XP on the table. Sorry, team. Should have hit them once. It would have worked. Venek. Okay. And I'll take that. Wait, I can't carry it? Why? What? What? Oh, because I have S Red Blade. Uh. Awkward. Goodbye, evade material. Sorry about that, team. I forgot I did that earlier. <laughs> Goodbye, that evade material. I We get them so often. If I really need them, I can consult my other four banks of 99. No invincibility, so I'm gonna dodge the dragon. There we go. Rip that evade material. That's why I do try to put them back in the bank every now and then. Just in case I do get multiple items and need to drop some. That's not as big of a loss. I just give you 99 if you ever really wanted. Yeah, ooh, Tiki got the stack. Tiki, I gotta learn the timing for that. Like, I want to see the exact visual cue for when to do it. Like, I have an idea, but I'm not hitting it consistently. I feel like Tiki's much stronger at the consistency with it. Next time Tiki does it on stream, I'm clipping it. <laughs> yeah. Like, sometimes I could tell it's early, and then sometimes I feel like it should work, but it doesn't for some reason. <laughs> did Hell did Hellcleave join us in 1 HP solidarity? <laughs> Just noticing the party's health. Oh, well, Hellcleave took a little too far there. Rip Hellcleave. <laughs> He's like, if I'm at 1 HP, you can't tell if I'm a ranger or not. Must be using like Berserk Needle or something. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, right? Like, if you looked at everybody's health, you would think they're a hunter. Among Us, yeah, something like that. Uh oh, that's really bad. One of them triggered early. We're gonna do some panic dances. Join me in the panic dance, because I don't want to die to this. Okay, we, we managed to not die to slime. That's good. <laughs> Slime almost had its revenge, finally. Right. Now I'm gonna walk my way over here. Team will clean it up over there. So many HP materials I need to get rid of still. Let's see. What do you think, chat? 50-50, will I get the snake invincibility? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I, it, chat, that, it, that has to be so unlucky. Holy, I think I hit it like twice in like seven attempts. It's so bad with 50-50. And if you combine that with how many times Dragon is whiffed, it's pretty atrocious. I think I'm like 4 and 14. Unreal. One day, Chan. One day the 50-50 will be consistent. I, I I would rather it not give it to me on Dragon if I could get it on Worm. 
Worm, worm has been super bad for sure. I might have to legitimately start feeding it. The problem is like if I do die every now and then, it's not going to fix it. It's just one of those things where I think I just have to hold it on another character. Like if I play Force next time, they're just going to babysit this mag for Synchro and then hand it back. Because even if I feed it like 6%, like if I were to do it right now, I'm probably going to lose it. Unless I feed it stars, maybe. Went back for the PD. That's fair. See, this is why I kill those enemies. It's a cause chaos in the run with the random PDs. Uh-oh. Set of reds all by itself. Yeah, Hunter can't afford that, sadly. They they cannot afford like I'm already strapped and I need to put away the S reds. If it's like not a special event, I probably could have done it. But the fact that I have to reserve a slot for Easter egg is a problem. Run team run. Nice telefy. But anyway, I believe we now panic Wind Blaze. Oh, I need to lower my health slightly. If I lowered it this amount, I could still potentially take one hit from turret, and then I'll be able to do it. You could try screens. I'll slow it down. And then team could take over. What the moment I see a Gazond, I'll leave. But I, I should probably slow it down. And again, at least I'm doing some damage with it, because I am at least above 1300 ATP. So it's not bad damage, it's just probably faster if somebody else took it over. Yeah, I saw it drop, so I'm just gonna try to keep the screen up here. That was so fast. I was not expecting it to be that fast. That Galatine damage is dumb. <laughs> what a difference. That Galatine was something. I thought I would have to do at least two more. I was about to talk about swapping out so I could Dark Flow on this phase. Stupid boss. Well, good thing I injured myself earlier, because that would have been real bad, because I would not have been able to Dark Flow there. Saw the mine material, I'm committing. I wanted that, but that's fine. Okay, let's not accidentally heal ourselves here. You are dead. Goodbye. And that's why I think also 30% sphered onto this would help. If I can one-shot that Darkbringer consistently, that'd be really good for me. What is going on here? Get out of here, Grand Sorcerer. Chat, you know it's serious when I bring out the Dark Flow on an enemy. <laughs> Not even a boss. I'm going in, chat. Not gonna stop me. Stupid Indie Barra. Take this. Bonk. <laughs> Don't make me snipe you with Dark Flow. You will not like it, game. I'm gonna put two free straps out. Perfect. Mmm. There we go. See, Dark Flow felt amazing in that room. Just everything gets bonked. See, I missed the Indie Bell Rub by one swing, chat. So that tells me. Potentially, would deep hearts give me the damage? Would red ring deep hearts give me enough damage? I definitely think spearing would make me do that much damage. When you're missing it by like 30 damage, it'd be huge. Make sure to actually swap into my gun there or I'll be very sad. So maybe it is worth trying to keep my HP low. That whole time, because it just every single enemy basically got one shot. Less useful without... So if I had level 30 buff, it one shots, but I want to be able to make sure that if I'm with raw morals or hue new rules, that I can get the one shot still. Get these. I'm okay with being on this side. 
There's so many near me, but I'm so scared to get hit by this. Get a little closer. Okay, I think I cleaned up pretty nicely there. I definitely do not want to go in the middle. The middle would be a big mistake for me. If I get stuck behind the boss, I'm going to do no damage. I think this was an okay position. I could have taken one more step forward, but it's fine. So by the time I swap, because I have to do this anyway. Yeah, that's fine. The damage is pretty absurd, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, if I'm, if I'm gonna sphere something, I think this might be the first time since I've played the entire game, I thought, I probably wanna sphere this versus I'm not sure. Oh, I'm committing. I saw the team damage, I'm like, nah, I'm not healing. I could try to risk the 50-50, well, it's not even 50-50, it might do three swings. Yeah, let's just heal here. Do a quick heal into a uh, five combo. See, if I'm really fast with the healing, then potentially I could get another string there. Almost. Oh, the boss is melting. Holy. Oh, he's gonna say you better go in the sky. It was about to be a it was about to be 1130 clear. That would have been embarrassing. Yeah, I'd go up in the sky too. Get down here. Oh, so lucky it went in the sky. So lucky. Uh-oh. This might be Rip Dango. Someone revive Dango. Or if I damage slowly, he'll live. I guess that works. See, I went, I went easy, I didn't power attack, just small delays and normals. Dango lived. Game over sound effect for uh, fall sounds about right. Oh, music's kicking in right as the boss is dead. Staff roll. I guess that's appropriate. So still below 12 minutes. Very fast run. Say the Bomberman music got much better compared to the NES real quick. PC Engine putting in the work right now. So we are definitely gonna put away the many HP materials that I have. So we got rid of 99, but we're about to put another 13 in. I think the thing is, like, I just do runs where it's just super easy to get materials. So I just end up with way too many. Especially with drop rate up. And you start getting millions. Let's see, we're we're down to 65 puts on drop, so about where we were at the start of the event. So most of that went towards mags and stuff. We're up to 70 eggs. We still capped on defense material. Power material was at zero, I think, at one point. So I think we picked up over 70 power material. It's pretty silly. So I did bank, I think, twice off stream to get rid of some of them. Minimum once to get rid of the power material. There's a character that has two 99s on them already. Guess I'll feed more star atomizers to this mag. We'll eventually beat it. Also, I think that's the first one. So even though I'm very tired, I managed to get through that whole run without dying as the Huka Seal while putting myself at low health. So I think it's starting to get ingrained, chat, <laughs> of what I need to do. Barely able to talk, but I can go through that without getting hit. So I think my I think my spinner consistency is like 90%, I would say, at this point, chat. I mean, that was like what? I got hit once in like eight runs? So I'm definitely getting used to that. Oh, I forgot to put away the S Red Blade. Oh well. I'm not sharing that with other characters. That should be fun. Yeah, we ended up with a ton of stuff. I'll have to figure out what to do with defense material. 
that'll be a future problem. So anyway, chat, we are going to pause the Bomberman soundtrack for now. But we are done with PSO for the night. So we had a long stream with a small break in between. Uh, so I think we did a total of eight and a half hours, more or less. So that's pretty good. But I think from that standpoint, we covered everything we wanted to talk about. And yeah, we didn't get too many endgame rares, sadly, but we did get a lot of experience. We did get a decent number of PDs. I think most people got event eggs while they're playing. We saw some okay common weapons, but nothing too crazy stat-wise. But yeah, hopefully uh, as the week continues, things will get a little better. <laughs> Although, I'm not going to lie, I just saw somebody run by with the name Tech Support, like T-E-K. And they were on the Ziggy Fake team. I really like that name. 10 out of 10 name. I'm calling them out. It wasn't on stream. I'm just letting you know it was there. That was funny. But anyway, that's all I have to say, I think, for this portion of... Uh, YouTube. Hopefully you enjoyed RT and TTF. <laughs> Probably Dango. But from that standpoint, I guess it's safe to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.